Hey, it's dinner time, and so I thought I'd show you what we are having for dinner tonight. And this is one of Dr. Christensen's favorite recipes. It's chicken coconut curry stir fry, and I've got some ingredients I here. I love it. <laughs> so I've got some chicken here. I've got some carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, onion. Over here is the coconut milk with the spices. Um, curry and ginger in here. The curry makes it yellow. And you can also use turmeric. That's a really great um, antioxidant spice. And I've got some coconut oil and salt and pepper. So I'm going to start with cooking the chicken. And I've got some coconut oil in the pan. And we're just going to cook the chicken until it's not pink anymore. salt and pepper on it. Okay, our chicken is all ready. It's not pink anymore, so I'm going to set it aside while we cook the vegetables. So we're going to just set the chicken there. And I've got some onion here, so I'm going to put the onion in the pan and just saute the onion for two or three minutes until it's translucent. Okay, our onion is ready, so now we're gonna put the rest of the vegetables in. And put the carrots first, because they kind of take the longest to get soft. And I've got some uh, coconut oil in there. I might need to add a little bit more coconut oil just to coat it all so it gets a good flavor to it. So we'll go ahead and cook those and be back in just a minute. Okay, I put the lid on the vegetables that kind of helps them get softer a little bit faster. So I'm gonna take the lid off and I think they're just about ready. So we're gonna add our chicken back in. Then we're going to add our coconut milk mixture, and again, this is uh, coconut milk mixed with curry and ginger and garlic. And we're just going to pour that in here. And I always double up on the sauce because we like a lot of sauce on ours. So I use two cans of coconut milk instead of one, and then double the spices also. And I like this brand, this Thai chick. Thai Kitchen's brand of coconut milk. I just think it tastes the best. So that's what we used. And now all we have to do is let it get heated through. And then you can serve this over rice or quinoa. Or if you're trying to eliminate grains, you can just eat it plain. And it's great all by itself. So enjoy.